<laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up, folks? Uh, we got all sorts of shit going on today. I think I'm gonna start out, I gotta put a few little deals on the sprayer on the planter, and then we'll go to the field and test it out, and hopefully it'll all work. <laughs> Slim chance of that. Then we gotta wait for our chemical or our fertilizer to get here. We'll load up and we'll probably start rolling pretty hard today. So that's the plan. We got a busy jam-packed day for you. Hopefully I'll remember to bring the camera. Let's go. That was a weird fucking intro. <laughs> Okay, so these are the little deals I'm replacing. Just a little check valve right before it gets to the actual nozzle that comes out of the back of the planter. With the fertilizer, a uh, couple of them were leaking, making a god dang mess. So all you gotta do is twist them apart like that. This is a little adapter for the nozzle. Twist the nozzle on there. Grab your new one here. Maybe. There we go. And then you just lock her on like so. And that's all I have to do. And it's only like three of them. We will throw these on quick and get on rolling. All right, let's fire the old girl up. I know it's been a little while since I've made another video also, but um, it was cold as balls most of this week and raining and snowing the last couple of days i felt god awful so i had i tried to record a couple videos but i just had no energy and i just they just weren't good videos so i just decided not to post those so anyways that's why it's been a little bit but now that we're planting then we're gonna go hot and heavy here for the remainder of the year pretty much there'll be i don't know two three four videos a week probably so make sure to hit the subscribe button <laughs> outside well not outside in that open it's a three-sided barn but there's no door on it so it's been pretty cold and windy in there too because with the tanks on my tractor I'm too wide to get into the freaking heated shop so that's very unfortunate but so that's the reason I was over that's a oh my that's over at my mom's place so that's where I've been working on this thing she's rather wide going down the road too pretty much Pretty much white line to white line, but it looks cool. And it will be nice to have these bigger tanks. Well, everything seems to be working. I tested it out here a little bit. I didn't record it. Besides, my monitor only reads 0.0. It won't, it won't give me my population. So I'm gonna have to figure out something with that because I have no idea why I would be doing that. But Anyways, other than that, it seems like everything's working. So I haven't put liquid in the tanks yet either because I wanted to get this figured out first, but uh, it's always so much shit. Also, we're just doing a controlled burn right here, I guess, right now. <laughs> I didn't even realize they were out there till I came around the corner. Pretty cool. Fire, fire. Crazy shit. Kind of crazy how well they could control that shit. Okay, well it seemed like everything was working besides this row now. I got the monitor figured out, but for some reason row five is not wanting to plant. So I guess we'll figure that out next. Push this and see if it is planting, which it is. Therefore, it's gotta be the sensor inside, probably. That'd be my best guess anyways. It's an absolute smoky mess back where I was now, so gonna have to wait anyways. It's about lunchtime, so we're gonna go ahead and this is, I guess we'll just see if the sensor's working, maybe. Might just replace it right off the bat. Oh no, we'll see. The sensor's down in the seed tube. If I can get it dark enough, maybe 
If I can get it dark enough, maybe you can see that light down in there. Maybe not. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there's a little light down there. There's actually another light below it, but I don't know if I I don't know if it's out or if I just can't see it. That is the question that remains to be answered. So I think we're just gonna switch the sensor and see what happens. It's pretty easy to do. It's just a couple of pins. Well, maybe easy. Oh my god. There we go. I already took the other pin out, but then it's just this little pin right here. Take it out. And then this should just look out like so. And there's the whole seed tube right there. That's where it comes out. That's where it goes in. I see one light. And I just can't see the other one. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to or not. I don't know. I think I'm just going to change it. It'll probably be easier. So, just cut our fancy... Oh, my blade just flew out. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's the first day of planting, all right. You gotta be shitting me. That's probably easier. The light was working. And I know it was putting out seed. It's almost gotta be. I don't know what else it could be, really, so. We'll go grab the other seed sensor. Mm. That'd be her. Imagine that. Trevor left something out. <laughs> well, it came with zip ties. I'll be damned. Like this. I have one per row. Some of you guys are driving around 36 row, high speed, fucking blah, blah, blah. How the hell do you keep your head on straight? I don't understand. And then this just clips in like that. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now I just got to throw those pins back in this... Ow, sticker. Um, Just got to throw those pins back in. And we'll be hopefully ready to rock and roll. We'll see. Well, came for a part. Looks like we're good and fucking busy today, boys. It's going to take a while. Alright, we are now back from lunch. I think I might have figured out the one problem with that meter. Hopefully, I haven't tried it yet, so that was a guess. And now I just need to figure out why that other box was reading that it had low population. And then, we should be good to go. I think that that other one might just be a sensor. Hopefully, because I think I have one of those. So... Anyways, let's see how she goes. Well, I was so worried about getting the planner and the tanks and everything working that I completely forgot that this, the inlet to the tanks, is a male and bigger. So, I'm going to have to go to the sprayer place for about the sixth time in the last two days to go get a female in to go on to there. Fantastic. Okay, folks, well, got the fertilizer loaded up in the tanks, got a couple small leaks, but nothing too major, so that's good at least. Um, and I guess now, sorry I didn't record that, I'll record it tomorrow. This is probably going to be a two-part video, I don't know, fuck it. <laughs> um, but now, I guess, first, first time uh, loading the planter of the season, well, actually loading it, so... <sighs> Let's hope it goes better than the rest of the day did. I think for this first number, we're rolling with the old Fontenelle. We, well, I run about half Fontenelle, half NK Prairie Valley on my stuff. My grandpa runs pretty much all Fontenelle on his. This is Fontenelle 15A657. First number going in of the year. Obviously on my grandpa's ground, that's where I always start. So we'll see how she does. Hopefully fucking good, huh? Enjoy this time lapse. Um, 
Um, would you believe me if I said I got all the other seven bags scrunched up into this one bag? Well, you shouldn't have. I only got six of them. <laughs> oh, God, I hope shit works. Okay, well, as you can see, the lights are now on on the tractor. Well, maybe you can see it's kind of... It's like dusk right now, so it's like, should I have them on? Should I not? Do I look like a dweeb? I don't know. I gotta know. I'm mostly just using them so I can see my gauge for my fertilizer, but anyways, definitely forgot to uh, record there for a whole give or take three hours, so uh, we pretty much got everything at least somewhat rolling. It was just a bunch of minor adjustments back and forth, back and forth that it really would not have been fun to watch, so I figured I'll just make this like a two-part kind of video or whatever, and since I'll probably just catch you in the morning, so in the morning, bitches. Alrighty, boys, we're back at it. It's the next day. We have Maddie with us to help. I do lots of helping. <laughs> we're gonna load up again. I didn't really record too much yesterday because I was having all sorts of issues and I was pissed off. So we're loading up again and hopefully we'll get some sweet, sweet GoPro shots. And maybe this... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I was going for there. Okay, load her up. I want to open the boxes first. It's also a freaking hurricane out here today, so this should be very fun. She even has a Fontenelle hat on. is different is because one broke so don't judge me for my mismatched box sick thumbnail okay let's rock and roll boys okay boys first pass so everything's working for now let's keep our fingers crossed it's so windy out it's gonna be awful if I have to get out and work on shit Actually, I'm just gonna send Maddie out to work on everything. Yeah, then we're really in trouble if I have to go out. <laughs> Fair enough. But, first pass is a go, so far. So, going better than yesterday did, so far. Let's hope it continues. Funny story, that last clip of me saying, everything's going well, hopefully it lasts. It didn't, it literally lasted not even that full pass. But we finally figured out it wasn't water in my fuel tank. It was this tiny little strainer, which I took off before, and it didn't seem like it had much in it. Well, it was packed full of shit. So that was my issue there. Hopefully, anyways, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But I put a new one on it, and now it's lunchtime. So I guess I'm going to go grab a quick bite with Maddie, and we'll be back at it after that, I suppose. Well... Everything was going good. I actually got like 15 acres in without a problem. 
and then this drive chain looks like it decided to pop off and got stuck up in there which made that whole shaft stop which made this chain break off this which was just replaced and you have to take the whole shaft out to replace that it's just one thing after another this year i don't know what's going on it's unreal pretty fucking unreal very discouraging to say the least and it's sunday so i doubt anywhere is open to get apart so that's fucking lovely also god damn okay new plan we just took i forgot to record it but we took the broken one all off and we'll have to wait till tomorrow to get a new one and get it all put on and then we put the one that's still somewhat intact back together and hopefully it will run the whole planter just with the one drive that's about the only option we have at the moment so that's what we're gonna try to do i haven't even been in the tractor for more than a few passes at a time before something else breaks so hasn't been a great start well catch you in a bit Alrighty, take number 450 of the year, trying to figure out if anything will ever work. Let's just see. No. Oh, maybe. I think we're working. Looks like it's working. Okay. Somewhat working. Nope, we're running really high now. What the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, I think we officially somewhat have it figured out for now. Tomorrow I'm gonna fix the other side to drive, but we were having some low population issues because this drive tire wasn't set down low enough. So it was skipping a little bit and that's what was doing it. And now I think the last little thing I need to do here is row seven and eight. They were coming up a little bit low population wise and that's because, well I already loosened it now, but that's because this deal, the tensioner for this chain wasn't tight, so it was skipping a little bit I think, I hope. So we're just gonna tighten this back up and should be good to go. Okay. Send up a little prayer for me right now. One like equals one prayer for Trevor. <laughs> so far so I'm not gonna get cocky I'm gonna watch what I say because I don't I I'm just gonna stop talking actually we're running it's planting fertilizer is coming out decently anyways let's just keep it going let's keep the let's keep the streak going baby well I guess let's see what the seed depth is looking like here while we're out, almost perfect. Oh yeah, there she is, right there. Grow up and be happy, little boy. Poor girl, I'm not gonna assume your gender. <laughs> we officially got the planter empty again. So, we're gonna fill up with seed. While we're here, we're gonna go ahead and fill up with some more fertilizer, because I only have, oh, give or take, 100 gallons left or so. So, while we're here, we'll fill the tanks up, fill the planter up, and we'll be back out, I think. It's like 6 o'clock. Oh, I got plenty of time. Plenty of time. All the time in the world. 
now that things are actually going right <laughs> five days later so why am i walking this way the freaking skid steers over here we'll go grab some more seed load her up and get fertilizer in Okay, fertilizer time, baby. You can see the liquid right here. The guy that I bought these tanks from, he had it set up backwards to where all the plumbing was, so the numbers on the tanks had to go in the back, which kind of sucks, but I mean, it's all right, because I can still, halfway is 150 gallons, big brain. <sighs> okay, that's all there is to it, really. Flippity, floppity. Good and good for you. 